Let's make the Grinch scarf. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this Grinch scarf. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. The creator of this amazing scarf is Chelsea from The Crafter Life. I will include the website here at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to pause the video, write that down, go to that website and print off her pattern. Uh, I will also include a link in the notes section below. If you want to click on that link, it'll also, also just take you directly to that pattern that you can print off and be ready to crochet with me. It is a free pattern. You just need to scroll down a little bit to get to it on the website page, or there is an option where you can purchase an ad free version along with it's a bundle. There's going to be three items that she has in her bundle that you can purchase together. And that just supports her her website and everything that she's doing. Uh, there are two different sizes that I will reference. There's an adult size and a child size that I will go back and forth and say, hey, if you're making the adult size, you'll do this. If you're making the child size, you do that. I will also address the different materials that you can use. She uses a much bulkier yarn that I, than I am using and th that will all be addressed so that way you are ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this scarf. The materials that you're gonna to need to make your Grinch scarf, if you are looking at the pattern, uh, she used, Chelsea used a crochet hook size K 10.5, or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, she also used a super bulky weight size six yarn in green and in red. And she used a bulky weight size five yarn for her white. She used a fuzzy yarn. It says in the pattern she used a, used a pip squeak yarn. Uh, the materials that I am using to make this Grinch scarf, the yarn is all a size four weight. I have a green, a red, and a white. I didn't use a fuzzy white, it's just a very neutral, plain white. Uh, the crochet hook that I am using is a I9 5.25 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle or yarn needle to help you weave in your ends. Possibly stitch row markers if you really like to use stitch row markers. But that is it. That's all you're going to need to make this scarf. So once you have gathered all of your materials, let's go ahead and get started making your Grinch scarf. Okay, so we start with the green color. Go ahead and make your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook. We are ready to go. If you are looking at the pattern, it indicates that if you want to make a child size scarf, all of the child size dimensions are in the brackets, okay? So I'm gonna point that out to you. You're going to start with chaining 11 if you're making an adult size scarf, or chaining eight if you're making a child size scarf. So I'm making an adult size, so I'm gonna start with 11. One, two, three, four, nine, 10, 11. Great, okay, so double crochet in the third chain from your hook. So the chains are the V shapes. So one, two, three, double crochet. Perfect, and then it wants you to double crochet in each stitch across. So if you are making an adult size scarf, you will double crochet in the next eight chains. If you are making a child size scarf, you will double crochet in the next five chains. Last chain here, double crochet. Great, okay. So to get to the next row, you're going to chain two, one, two, turn your work, double crochet in the first stitch, right there, double crochet, and then you're just going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across row two. If you are working an adult size scarf, you will double crochet in the next 
eight stitches. If you are working a child size scarf, you will double crochet in the next five stitches, okay? And that is all you do for the main part of the scarf for this green color. Uh, if you are using the super bulky size six yarn that the pattern is calling for, uh, then you're only going to make 46 rows where you're going to end this row, chain two to get to the next row, double crochet in each stitch across, then chain two to get to the next row, double crochet all the way across. You will continue this process for the total 46 rows if you are doing an adult scarf or 36 rows if you're doing a child size scarf. With my size four weighted yarn, my Erin Yarn Worsted Weighted Yarn, all the same size, uh, you are going to make a total of 100 rows. That will make a an adult size scarf, okay? Uh, for a child, you will make a total of 80 rows. It'll be a longer scarf, but it'll be a lot more comfortable to wear. It'll drape perfect for this weighted yarn, okay? So go ahead and continue this process until you have reached that last final row, and I will meet you there to show you the next step. Last double crochet right there. Perfect, and I have just finished all of my rows of the green. I'm going to grab my scissors, cut off a long enough tail so I can weave in my ends later. Yarn over, pull the yarn through that loop all the way through and pull tight for a slip knot. Great, okay, now grab your white yarn. White yarn, we are now making the cuffs. We are done with the green color. Make a slip knot with your white, long enough tail to weave in your end. Great, okay, in the same stitch that we just ended, go ahead and turn your work. So that way it's the very first stitch that we address. We're going to insert our crochet hook into that stitch and slip stitch the white by yarning over, pulling through, pulling that all the way through for a slip stitch just to attach the white color to the scarf. Chain two, one, two. And double crochet in that first stitch that we just slip stitched into. Perfect, and one double crochet in each stitch all the way across this row. Okay, once you get to the very last stitch, you're done with the white. Go ahead and cut that off. Long tail so we can weave in our end. Yarn over, pull through, and slip knot. Great. Let's go to the other side of the scarf. Okay, so the first stitch will be on the very same stitch that we have the tail. That will be our first. Okay, for the white, make sure there's a long enough tail to weave in your ends. Create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook. Great. Okay, insert your crochet hook into that very first stitch, the other, the other stitch of the foundation row. Yarn over, pull through, pull all the way through for a slip stitch, chain two, one, two. Double crochet in that very same stitch. And one double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Last stitch right there. Great, okay, grab those scissors. Long tail. Yarn over, pull through. Slip knot, perfect. Okay, we are now done with the white. This process is running really fast. We're going through things really quick. We're now ready for the shoe, the first foot. So grab your red. Okay, with the red color, go ahead, long tail, slip knot, attach your crochet hook. 
Okay. In the same stitch that we ended, so making that yarn tail that we just ended, be on this side so we can focus on the work. Insert your crochet hook, slip stitch the red color to the scarf. Boom, just like that. Chain two, one, two, double crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Great. One double crochet in each stitch across. And in the very last double crochet, we're going to put two double crochets. One, two. Perfect. For row three, it wants us to chain eight if you're doing an adult size scarf or chain six if you're doing a child size scarf. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turning our work, double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Okay, so looking at our chains, finding the Vs. One, two, three, double crochet in that third chain. Double crochet in the next five chains if you are working the adult scarf or the next three chains if you're working the child size scarf. One, two, three. You might have to twist that chain a little bit to see the actual V shapes. Four, but you want to count because see how this chain right here is twisted? You might not see that one, but I know I've only double crocheted an additional four and I need a fifth. So I know by counting that I got to find that fifth chain. Five, perfect. And now we can twist so that way we're still working along this row. Okay, we are basically just double crocheting all the way across this row. Boom, perfect. Chain two, one, two. We are now in row four. Okay, two double crochets in the very first stitch. One, two, and then one double crochet in the next 14 stitches. One, two, three, four, 14 double crochets for adults, nine double crochets for a child size scarf. Fourteen. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, then chain eight if you're working an adult size scarf or chain six if you're working a child size scarf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn your work. Okay, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So looking at your V's, one, two, single crochet in that stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch. All right, and then you're going to double crochet in the next five chains if you're working an adult scarf or the next three chains if you're working a child size scarf. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, instead of flipping this, so you're now working on this side, you're actually going to flip your whole scarf. So you're attaching this toe to the top part of your shoe, okay? So we're actually going to slip stitch into the spaces created by the seventh eight chains or the fifth six chains of the very, very top right here. Okay, so let me 
help you out. Let me really show you how to do this. Okay, so we just made basically the toe. I'm going to come up to that very top of the shoe. The first few chains that we did, the set, uh, eight chains that we did in this very beginning, we're going to slip stitch in the eighth and the seventh chain, okay? If you're making a child size scarf, this would have been the sixth and the fifth chain. So we're going to actually insert a crochet hook into the eighth chain right there and slip stitch. And then we're going to insert into the seventh or fifth chain, the next chain over. So slip stitch there and fasten off. We're done with that part. Okay, so grab your scissors, cut your yarn with a long enough tail to weave in some, weave in your end. Yarn over, pull through the loop for a slip knot, but we're not done yet. So we got the foot. We're going to make the heel next. That is the last part of the foot, okay? So grab your red yarn, form your slip knot, leaving a long enough tail to weave in your ends. Slip stitch into the corner part of that heel to attach your yarn. Great. Chain two, one, two. You're going to double crochet in the first, double crochet, and then single crochet, single crochet, and then one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and one slip stitch. So last stitch is a slip stitch. Boom. That is it right there, guys. I'm gonna cut off a slack of our yarn. Yarn over, pull through, pull tight, and then that is your foot. You'll weave in your ends to clean all those up, but that's foot number one, okay? So when we move on to foot number two, what you wanna be aware of are is the placement of your feet. Okay, so if I'm following this scarf so that it's not all twisted up. Okay, there we go. Do you want your feet to point in at each other? Do you want both feet to like go the same direction? How do you want your feet? That all depends on how you're going to start, what side of this side of your scarf you're going to start on, okay? If you want both of your feet to be pointing in the same direction, then you're going to want to start your red color. You're going to want to start with this white tail facing out and your first double crochet, your first attachment will be with this chain facing out. That will cause your shoe to be in the same direction as this shoe. If you want the two shoes to kind of point in at each other, then you're going to start on the opposite end, okay? You'll start on the side opposite of where your tail is. That's where you will slip stitch your red and chain two and begin, okay? So I am gonna have both of my shoes facing inward together. That's going to be what I choose. Long tail, slip knot, attach my hook. Okay. Find the very first stitch. So not the chain two, I don't want the chain two. I want the double crochet, top of that first double crochet. Okay, yarn over, pull through, pull all the way through. So there's only one loop left on my crochet hook. Chain two, one, two. Double crochet in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And then one double crochet in each stitch across. Okay. 
last stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. So here's my last stitch. So two double crochets right there. One, same stitch, and two. Perfect. So that would have been our row two. We're repeating, we're repeating our shoe, okay? So this would have been row two. This cuff was row one. So now we're on row three. Row three says it wants us to chain eight if we're doing an adult scarf and chain six if we're doing a child size scarf. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna turn my work. Double crochet in the third chain from your hook. So one V, two V, three V. Double crochet. Okay, if you're working an adult size scarf, you're going to double crochet in the next five chains. If you're working a child size scarf, you're gonna double crochet in the next three chains. So one, two, three, four, and I'm glad I count because otherwise I would have just forgotten that last stitch. Five, okay, so twisting so that way we are continuing the work along the shoe. Basically all you are doing guys is putting one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. Okay guys, chain two, one, two. We're now on row four, turning our work. Two double crochets in that first stitch. One, two. Okay, then it wants you to double crochet in the next 14 stitches. One, two, three, four. In the next stitch, it wants you to put two double crochets. One, two, and then chain eight if you're doing an adult scarf, chain six if you're doing a child size scarf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, turning our work. Single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So one V, two V, single crochet. Half double crochet in the next chain. Boom, right there. And then five double crochets if you are doing an adult scarf or three double crochets if you're doing a child size scarf. One, two, three, four, and five. Remember, this was the toe, so we are not flipping the work. We're just going to be joining the toe to the shoe, okay? So that means we're going to find that chain eight from this row right here, row three. The last two chains would be either eight and seven for an adult or six and five for a child. You're gonna find that outermost chain right there and we're gonna slip stitch into that one to attach the toe to the rest of the shoe. And then we're gonna slip stitch in the next chain as well. And that is it for that toe. Grab your scissors, cut a long tail, yarn over, pull through, slip knot that together. Okay, and the last thing we gotta do, guys, is the little heel for the foot. Grab that yarn color, long tail to weave in your ends, create your slip knot. Okay, slip stitch in that corner stitch there to join your yarn, boom. Chain two, one, two, double crochet in that last stitch, single crochet in the next, 
half double crochet in the next and slip stitch in the fourth stitch right there. Boom, you're done. Grab your scissors, cut your yarn, yarn over, pull through, pull tight to make that knot secure and foot number two is done. Great guys, you have just finished your scarf. The only thing you would have left to do See, actually, uh, my feet. Yes, I wanted my feet to point into each other. Okay, the last thing you have to do is just clean up all your ends, which is where your tapestry needle, yarn needle will come in handy to weave in all of your ends. You could also use your crochet hook to do a lot of that work, whatever works best for you. I'll also include a link right here on different ways that you can weave in your ends and join yarn if the way you are using isn't working great and you want to try something new. I have found some great options. All right, that's it. That is your Grinch scarf. I hope you had a lot of fun making your Grinch scarf. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for joining me today, for crocheting with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.